seven. Night number seven. Let's see what the paper is. Oh, you got stickers. This is like last year too, right? The decorate the tree, I think. Oh, this year it's a wreath. So you got to color the stickers and you color the wreath and then you decorate it with the stickers. Okay, where's number seven on the on the uh, cal the calendar? Where's seven? Uh, is it this? Yep, it goes this way. Let's try not to rip the entire thing. Ooh, you got glitter glue, I think. Is that what this is? No. Glitter. Let's not... Hold on. <laughs> Let's not get that on the couch yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to decorate the wreath. All right, he's been itching to do this all day. So hold on, let's let's pick out what the uh, no peeking the paper part is. Night number eight. Oh, this is a door hanger. Like you had one of these last year too. A different picture. Pop. Did you just toot again? Why are you always farting? Pop number eight. Yep, you can pop number eight. I know you've been waiting to do this all day. Go ahead. Stick your finger in that little flap. <laughs> like a struggle every night. Right here. That got elaborate. I think it's a crayon Nine's again. Tomorrow. These are hard to get out of here. So this one is a metallic green. Last night I thought that one was blue, but it was uh, black. Or... No, the the one that came with the card. So now you can look at, you can write your name and then you can color it, okay? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. You got it. Aiden. <laughs> then you can get your markers if you want and color different colors. <laughs> See, this is why I can't decide if I like the things I use for my hair or not because I just washed it last night and... I don't know, sometimes the stuff makes it look like it's greasy and just doesn't want to look the way I want it to look. I wanted to straighten it and then I was like, no, because it's going to take me an hour and I don't feel like doing that. So. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. I've been thinking like I want bangs again and I don't know. I want bangs. I want to change the color. I want it... I want layers again because my layers are all grown out and just not, it doesn't look nice anymore. It just looks like a friggin' rat's nest on my head. <laughs> so anyway, what's on the agenda for today? Um, not much. I just have to go to Target. I have to get, uh, well, I have to go to Michael's because I need more soap base. I sold like no soap over the summer and now everybody's ordering soap in the winter time. Um, what else was I going to say? I already put my primer on my eyes before I turned the camera on and I did my eyebrows and then I was like I'll turn this on so I don't have to record in the car. So once again, for some reason when I record in the car, if I record here and it's more than 10 minutes long, it doesn't do that weird thing where my voice doesn't sync up with the words. But if I record on the car and it's more than 10 minutes long, maybe the bumps or something do something to my phone. I don't know, but it's aggravating. <laughs> I turn, like I go to edit it and the footage is all messed up and my voice doesn't sync up with the, the audio. I did um, the Zany Laney gift swap already. We all we did like we went on that site Elfster and did a Secret Santa type thing. Um, and I got my person a Harry Potter mug because that's one of, like they had Harry Potter things listed on their um, their wish list. And then the person who sent me mine, I haven't taken them out yet because I was like, oh, we're going to have to move. I don't want to have to pack them up and put them away. But um, these are the Nightmare Before Christmas Sally's trinket boxes. 
you can just put whatever in here. Uh, they say Worm's Wart, Frog's Breath, and Deadly Nightshade. Super cute. And they're like ceramic, so I don't want to have them sitting out and get broken. I just want to you know, wait until we move, and then when I set up my makeup table wherever, hopefully it will fit. <laughs> This is a long ass Ikea table that I wish I had kept the smaller one, I think, because this one's a little bit big. <laughs> I did keep the smaller one. Technically, it's it's in my office. It's part of my office desk now, but it's that one down there somehow up there. I mean, somehow got all nicked and stuff, and I kind of want to put like a, a piece of glass over it to protect it from getting any worse. This one's fine. But I don't know why that one got so nicked up. Oh look, there's no number nine tonight, so whatever it is. God, I hate this couch so much. Okay, what's where's number nine? Right here. Oh, it's a big a big one. Happy holidays. Go ahead. Can you open it? Here, I'll hold this and you pull it out. Pull it up. There you go. What is it? Oh, it's a clay, a clay. I bet it's an ornament again. We get to make an ornament. A squawky. What color? Red. And this one's white. And this is the little the hanger thing to put it on the tree. Let's see what it's supposed to be. A Santa hat. We get to make a Santa hat ornament. Remember last year you did a snowman? Yes. So now we get to do this, okay? Okay. All right. I this is our our project for tonight. You want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. The heck! I thought I was recording, and it wasn't. Uh, now what was I saying? Last night, it was pouring out all night. Poured all day yesterday, actually, off and on. Um. I was sitting in here watching TV, and the laundry room is like, if you go out this door, the next door over there is the laundry room. And I heard dripping that sounded like it was inside the house. So I shut off the TV, and I was listening, and I was like, yeah, that sounds like it's coming from in there. So I go in there, and I, th it, I think it's coming from the upstairs toilet. It was just, like, dripping in the corner of the laundry room, like, where, where it usually floods. <laughs> so... We shut off the water to the upstairs toilet and it stopped. So I don't know why it's doing that. Probably because right before Stephen's grandma ended up leaving for good and having to go to the nursing home, his father had put a new toilet up there. And probably because he did it himself is why it's already leaking something and I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I'm not fixing it. I'm not buying anything to fix it. I'll leave the water turned off to it. Like, the, this morning I had to turn the water back on because Aiden pooped up there and I had to flush the toilet um, to get it to go down. <laughs> Sorry, TMI. But uh, it didn't leak now, but I shut the water off again just in case. So, so I gotta keep doing that. Make it not leak, then that's fine by me. So I am not paying to have anything fixed. I'm not buying any parts for anything. Dang off. We got a stupid letter in the mail from the oil company. I'm so... Uh, I don't even know anybody else that has oil heating. Like, personally. <laughs> I hate having oil. It's just, an, like, another extra bill instead of, like, having electric heat and having that all tied in. Or having, like, gas stove and gas heat. We don't have gas anything. I miss having gas. It took me so long to get used to having to use a friggin' electric stove. But, uh, they sent a letter yesterday. I've paid 300 bucks on it in the past, like, week and a half. I've put $300 towards it because, uh, the issue is his father getting the notification saying that, oh, you... You owe so much on your oil bill. I think it was up to 770 bucks. Um, so I paid a bunch on it, like half almost. And then we got a letter in the mail yesterday 
They take forever to update it, I guess. So it was still saying that we owed 770 and whoever like wrote on it, we can't deliver any oil until this is all paid off. So now I gotta worry about paying off the other 440 bucks or whatever it is we owe before we can get any more oil. And we're gonna run out of oil and not have heat. So I have the heat turned way down to try to like conserve as much as we can. I hate the way that she had it set up. I kind of just want to like pay it off and cancel that company and go with someone else because I don't like the way that they like I've never heard of oh we're just gonna deliver it whenever keep it super full like it's a 275 gallon tank and she had it set up so they could deliver whenever they want they never come to the door they just leave like the friggin the invoice in our mailbox and the tank was full so we owe tons of friggin money because they just come and deliver it whenever they want and she had it set up like that because she didn't care she had money to blow so <laughs> I'm like we need to change it and I can't change it Stephen can't change it it's still in her name so his father has to change it but he'd rather just call and bitch at us for not paying it oh it's so annoying this whole situation is so annoying Actually surprised he didn't come down this past weekend just to friggin yell some more about the oil bill and then leave and go back home like he always does but uh I don't know I highly doubt he'll be down for, before Christmas I don't think he will um I know that the main reason that he's finally like doing stuff with the house or like finally decided that he's selling it is because he's gonna get knocked with a what's it called like the death tax from inheriting the house and Steven's like that's why he's so gung-ho about getting this done as soon as possible because it's gonna be like 50 grand out of his pocket and I'm like I don't care like he could have avoided that by putting his name on the house years ago like everybody kept telling him to do. Like his grandma was going to do that and get it all situated, have his name on it, and then he would have avoided having to pay that, the tax on inheriting the house. This Shane lip gloss smells like vanilla to me now. Okay, maybe not. It's still root beer-ish, but it smells vanilla-y. I don't know why I'm all stuffy today. Um, so yeah. Could have been avoided if he had just put his name on the house. It's a big, like, I told you so situation. Uh, anyway. I have to go finish getting Aiden ready for school. And then I'm bringing all those old clothes of his to my friend so I gotta do that today because I've had four trash bags of clothes sitting in here that's absolutely driving me insane. Night number 10. Number 10. Let's see what it is. Oh, stickers again. So that means what there's two. Hang on, don't open it yet. Hold on, hold on. Pop it's it. a Christmas tree. We did one like this last year, but it wasn't Pop like it. a stand-up one. Pop yep, you ready? Go ahead. It's probably a crayon again. They give a lot of crayons. No, it's this one. Okay, now pull it up. Oh no, it's a marker. I couldn't see. Is it green? You got it. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. What color is that? Green. I want to get more uh, Oh, it's scented pine tree. That's a new one. Let's smell it. Does it smell like a tree? Yeah. <laughs> now I can't get the thing back on with one hand. Okay, here, take that. And then we'll go do the tree. We're decorating our tree now. And these are... We ended up making three hat ornaments last night because we had enough clay to make three of them. Now they're all nice and dry and hard so we can put them on the tree. So they came out super cute, but we just spilled lemonade on them, so. <laughs> That's what that looks like. We got three of them. 
and putting everything on the... They give you a ton of stickers, and I don't think they're going to all fit on that tree. Oh, you didn't color the stand, bud. Make sure they stick on there good. Color ball. Are you going to be able to fit them all? Yeah. I don't know. I might have to use this leftover stickers for something else. We still have leftover stickers from the other night, too, because they didn't all fit on that wreath that we colored. You can save some. You can use them for something else. <laughs> We're just going to have a cluttered Hi. Christmas tree. <clears throat> I just shoveled the driveway, and it's already... Like, I wasn't even halfway done with it, and it was getting covered up again already. I you see it out. I know. It was supposed to stop snowing by 9. It's after 9 now. It's after 9 o'clock now. They said that school's going to be delayed, but I don't even know if I'm going to take them <laughs> because we've already got like, what is that, like 3 inches? I don't know. It's sticky snow again, but it's not as heavy as it was when it snowed the other day. It's just like, it's not freezing outside, so it's like very slushy in the street, and it's just bleh. But it looks pretty. I just don't want him to miss another day of school. <laughs> it's not like a treacherous journey because his school is not very far, but I don't know why they didn't just cancel it. Friggin' two hour delay, so technically he doesn't have to be there until 11. I'm gonna see if this stops. It was supposed to have stopped already. But it's still coming down. Why did I even bother shoveling? <laughs> it's already covered again. Come on. I don't think you're gonna go to school today, Aiden, because it's not stopping and it should have stopped like a half an hour ago. Are you doing math problems in the window? Seven. I don't care. Make the windows as messy as you want now. <laughs> Yeah, we've destroyed the flippin' uh, living room already. Aiden, you still watching Youngblood concerts? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go see Youngblood next time he comes? No. Why not? No. That's all you ever watch on YouTube anymore. You don't want to go to a concert? No. You don't want to see him sing? Press play. All right. <laughs> I just threw on mascara because I don't feel like putting makeup on today. Um, finally stopped snowing. It's like, it's 1.30 now and it stopped snowing, I want to say, like noon. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> now it's sunny out and I feel like an ass for keeping Aiden home from school because I could have very well taken him at 11, but I kind of didn't feel, ugh, whatever. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go wash my hair and straighten it because I haven't straightened it in a while and like uh, I need to do my roots again. I did that real quick like a couple weeks ago and it just I didn't leave it in for long enough because I didn't have enough time. I did it like later at night and it just didn't stick as well as it should have. I'm like toying with the idea of cutting bangs. Like I haven't had bangs in so long but I'm feeling I feel my forehead never bothered me before, but lately I've been like, my forehead's freaking huge. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I'm, when I get stressed, I want to like overhaul my hair or do something to myself. Like, it used to be tattoos, and I can't afford that right now, so, um, I want to color my hair and do something different with it and just change something. <laughs> um... Last night, I was like 99% sure I was getting sick. I went out with my friend yesterday. Um, I gave her all of Aiden's old baby clothes, which I'm super excited those bags aren't in the basement anymore. Um, and like by noontime, I started getting that sore throat feeling that you usually always get when you feel a cold coming on. And then last night, I just felt crappy. So I like pounded echinacea. I drank echinacea tea. Um... And then the, the sore throat started going away, and then I woke up and I'm just like a little bit sniffly, so I'm hoping I like nipped it in the bud. Um, so hopefully that's that. 
And this will be like the only sickness before Christmas time. I'd rather like, I usually always get sick this time of year so I know it's coming, but like I'd rather have it before Christmas than have it like on Christmas, during Christmas. It's <laughs> my grandma's not gonna want us over there if we're all sick. Um, this time last year was when I had that sinus infection that wouldn't go away and I had to have my tooth pulled while having that sinus infection. Ugh, that was horrible. <laughs> that friggin' sinus infection lasted for like three weeks. It would not go away. Even like after I went and I got antibi antibiotics, friggin' like it still wanted to hang around. It was just my nose and sinuses were not having it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break from doing this work and go do something with my hair. And like, I don't, I kind of want to just bleach the whole thing and do a totally different color, but like I've kept throwing the black on it for so long that it's like, like you can see my roots growing in. Ugh. I don't have enough, I don't think, to like do my whole, all my roots. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should go out and go get hair dye, but I don't feel like doing it today. Number 11. Night number 11. What is it? Oh, a connect the dots. Connecting dots! Yeah, you know how to do that, right? Now where's 11? Got it! See, all these little ones? Those are yeah. crayons. They give it away with the size and shape of the door. On. It is a glittery red one. Seems like they're all glitter or metallic this year. Start here. And I can never get Start them out. Start and finish. Night number one. Uh, yeah, the glitter ones don't have names on them. This is just the a glitters. glittery red. So you want to do it with that? Yes. Connect the dots. One. Yep. One, two. You know how to do it. Make the reindeer and then you can color them in. I can't believe it's not Friday yet. This week has gone by really slow. Um, I'm about to leave Aiden's school. I just dropped him off. And when I got up this morning, I realized I never cleaned off the Jeep. The friggin' doors were frozen shut. Actually, I didn't realize that as soon as I got up. I realized it when I came outside to warm up the car. Uh, <laughs> so I had to freaking... I gotta get a new scraper because I don't have one that's long enough to reach the roof anymore. That one broke. We had two of those and they both broke. It was either last year or the year before. I think it was the year before because last year we didn't have enough snow to need uh, another one. I had been trying to find them and I couldn't find them anywhere. And the year before we had more snow so that was when it broke. When they both broke. I don't feel like friggin' doing anything today. I have to go to the store and get bread. The usual friggin' errands. I got the Christmas cards today and they came out really cute. I'm covering this up because it's got our last name on it but... He's only smiling like this because I was struggling to get a picture of him. I decided, screw it, I'm just going to do it myself instead of making an appointment and having to go spend money on getting them done. And he's, I was struggling, he was mad, he didn't want to get his picture taken, and then I let him swear because he thinks that's the funniest thing lately, and I was able to get smiling pictures. So. <laughs> probably not a great mom hack but it worked and he didn't keep doing it afterwards so that's a plus but I was able to get a pretty decent picture so that is that's our Christmas cards for this year I only had 10 of them made because honestly I got like no Christmas cards last year so I'm only sending them to the people this year that sent them to me last year so saves a lot of money because I usually get like like 40 cards or something like that and they're really expensive so only got 10 this year okay don't do it with the food stuffed in your mouth night number 12 all right let's see what we got here hold on night number 12 what is it a road oh look stickers again a sticker scene so we get to color the stickers and then put them all over the scene yeah. 
Daddy must be playing games in there. I can hear him swearing. Yep, you got, you were right, this one. You gotta pull it up. Night number 12. Night number 12! What's in there? Oh, it's a mini marker. A pip squeak. Oh, wait a minute, it's a stamp. See? A little, so you can stamp and make snow. Night number, night number 12 is... I can't do this with my left hand. See? Snowflakes. <laughs> Well, we can color it first and color all the stickers and stuff. Okay, that was night number 12. We get to do a sticker scene. Mm -hmm. I should probably show these when they're done. Did I show the... I think I showed the little ornaments. I put one on the tree and then we're going to give one to my grandma and probably one to his uh, behavior therapist. I'm almost done doing my makeup. <laughs> How come every time... Like, I haven't even uploaded a, a ColourPop video in a while because I haven't bought any of the new palettes. Every, almost every video that I've uploaded, the ColourPop one, has some kind of argument going on about the damn glitters being eye safe or not. Like, there's either people thanking me because they didn't know that you can't put glitters on your eyes or you're not supposed to. Like, the chunkier the glitter, the worse it is to be on your eyelid. Like, somebody <laughs> just got mad that I mentioned that in every video because just because I have sensitive eyes doesn't mean that I should downplay the palette for everybody else. That was on the Biddy color, the candy button palette, which I even said w is not my favorite because the quality of that one isn't that great. But, like, I don't understand why everybody has to start an argument over glitters. Like, glitter is not supposed to be that close to your eye. Enough said. <laughs> like, it's a proven fact. I'm not just pulling this information out of my butt. Uh, whatever. If it's getting you to keep coming back to my video and give me more views, that's fine by me. So, like... Can't you just watch a video and take that information in and not argue with somebody? <laughs> I don't understand. I, didn't, I haven't been, like, responding back to them because it's usually just people arguing, arguing back and forth in the comments. But this one was directed at me, so... I, like, I don't get these palettes through PR like a ton of people do on YouTube, so I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh yeah, this is wonderful. I usually do. I usually say nothing but good things about ColourPop other than the fact that they always put uh, giant chunky glitters in eye palettes. So <laughs> it's not like I'm bad-mouthing them for the hell of it, but I'm also not a person that gets sent everything for free and I want to stay on their good side, so I'm not going to mention anything bad at all about any of the ColourPop stuff. I'm, not, I just, I'm honest about colors and stuff when I review everything, so it's not, you know? <laughs> Why are you arguing with me? Anyway, um, oh, I don't know what I did with my watch. I think I left it near the bed, but, um, I just wanted to mention that because it aggravated me this morning to wake up to a comment like that, but, um, today is Friday, thankfully. It's finally the end of this week. This week has felt so long and, like, ugh. I straightened my hair the other day. Not yesterday, but the day before. It took forever. Now I already feel like I need to wash it again. Like, I use, um, I don't remember the exact name of it. It's the Chi stuff in a little, it's like a, not, it's not called flat iron something. Like, I have the flat iron spray. I use that before I dry my hair because that's, like, a really good heat protectant. But it's like a little oil that you only need a tiny bit of whenever you straighten your hair. And it smells really, really good, but I feel like I have to wash my hair and like, I usually do my hair every three days I wash it, but I feel like I have to wash it the next day because it kind of makes it not oily, but like, I don't know, it just feels like it needs to be washed. So anyway, um, I will check in with you guys tonight when we do our advent calendar. I, I wasn't going to check in until tonight when we do our uh, calendar thing, but... Stephen called me on his break to tell me that his dad texted him this morning 
to say that we're supposed to get like torrential downpours here and to make sure that the uh, the pump and everything is working so that the basement doesn't flood. It's so hysterical to me now that he's concerned about that because all the other times the basement flooded and ruined Aiden's room when it was down there and we had to get a brand new carpet and everything for that room because of it. He didn't give a shit. It was just like, oh, that stuff happens. But now, <laughs> now because he's all friggin' gung-ho about selling this house as fast as he can, he doesn't want the basement to flood. I was like, Stephen, we should just purposely let it flood <laughs> at this point. But when that happens, it stinks down there. And like, if we were gonna be out of here, in like a week or something, then I would probably purposely let it freaking flood, but it might do it anyway because that has happened to us before. There's a bunch of snow on the ground right now, so if it's going to rain, there's going to be tons of water, and the pump that's down there does not work fast enough to get all the water out when, the, when it's really, really bad like that. That is why the last time we had the pump going and it flooded anyway, and it was just... A nightmare. The last time it happened was the worst that it ever happened. There was like three inches of water downstairs and it's like because of how I don't know the floor or something it all goes to that side of the house and downstairs that's where Aiden's old bedroom was. It's Stephen's game room now but it would all go in there for some reason and uh, it was horrible. That's the main reason after that last time that it happened was when I moved Aiden's room up here. That was just a spare bedroom. I cleaned everything out. Some of the stuff is in the attic, some of the stuff is in his grandma's room, but I just, I want out of here, you guys. I just freaking want out of here. I had some people ask if I was gonna start a GoFundMe and like, I'm thinking about it, but I really, I feel weird doing that. Like, I don't want, I'm not someone that, can ask people for help. Like, I'm very stubborn about that. I just feel bad doing it. So, I don't know. If it gets... If it gets super dire, like, I might have to do that, but I just, I don't... I feel bad doing stuff like that, so... It's just me. I'm a weirdo. Um... I had, I had a comment, too, on not the last video, but I think it was the week before where I, like, said we have to move because his dad decided to sell the house and everything, that asked me if I knew that it was ha going to happen, why wasn't I more prepared? And I can't e even get mad at that because, like, it might have been someone that hasn't been following me for that long and doesn't know our situation or what everything that's happened over the past couple years. But, uh, believe me, I wish I was pr more prepared for this. I friggin... I said that I knew it was going to happen more of like I had a feeling all along, but we, just to explain that to anybody that's newer to my channel, we, we moved here with like the, the thought that we were going to be able to stay here because when we first had Aiden, my father-in-law was all about having a, his first grandkid and he told us I want you guys to have this house when grandma goes so that was like kind of instilled in us that we were we were taking care of my husband's grandmother and when she passed we were going to be able to stay here and continue to keep the house in the family so it wasn't ever like we need to make sure we save and have a down payment for a house for when grandma passes away because it was that's what was told to us, you know? And I kind of had it in my head, like, what if it doesn't doesn't ha happen that way and he decides he wants to sell it because he wants money instead and everything? And that's what ended up happening. So if you're newer to my channel and you haven't followed me, I don't expect you to go watch my last, like, two years worth of vlogs, but I just want to explain it like that. Like, I'm not... <laughs> Not trying to be rude about it, but, like, that's why I wasn't as prepared for this as I should be. And, like, not to mention, our savings has been... We had a s decent amount saved up, and with Steven's job issues this past year, every time he got laid off or had to leave a job or something, it's just depleted our savings. So 
the fact that his dad is telling us that we have to leave now is the worst possible time for it to happen because our savings is shit. <laughs> so I just wanted to explain that because I do, I do realize that maybe someone stumbles across one of my vlogs and decides to watch it and doesn't know the entire story. So I just wanted to get that out there. So um, I started getting a massive headache again, so I just took Excedrin and I hate taking... The Excedrin migraine always helps within like 15 to 20 minutes of me taking it, but whenever I take it, I get all shaky, and I think it's because of the amount of caffeine that's in it. Like, I have I hardly drink caffeine at all anymore, so it messes with me. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> so I only took one of them this time. I usually take two. I'm like, maybe if I eat first and then I take one of them, it'll take away my headache but not make me all shaky. Because like, I, I take it because it helps when you get a headache, but it's all like, ugh. If I take ibuprofen, it doesn't really help. It's like bordering on a migraine, but not as bad. Like, the light isn't bothering me right now. When I get a really bad migraine, I have to be in a complete dark room and stuff. So let's hope this goes away, because I don't want to feel crappy for the rest of the day, but.